Hello, everybody. Welcome to Public News Podcast. I'm here with Stellar Ruins. Got Nick and Chris. How you guys doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Uh, doing well. Doing well. Doing great, yeah. So, um, you know, I got to see you guys play live for the first time the other night, man. You guys were awesome. You guys Appreciate were awesome, that. man. Thanks yep. for having us. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, introduce yourselves. I mean, you know, because uh, this was played live on, on Facebook, so people are going to see, you know, Stellar Ruins and go back and watch you guys on the live feed. So, they, you know, there's a chance for you to them to get to know you you know what i mean so you know just give a little bit of history about you know the band you know how you guys met you know sort of that if you guys want to start with that chris sure yes yeah, so, uh i started the project really i had a first iteration about the end of 2015 i had a batch of songs that i writ that i had written uh, it was called um, opulence and rapture a few of the songs that we still play today and um things got kind of put back on the back burner a bit because i went back to college for a little while and then, but it always felt like Stellar Ruins was unfinished business. I always had that feeling in the back of my head, like, I've got to see this project through. Like, I've got to get the record going, got to release it, because they were just sitting there on the shelf. And so about 2020, um, I ended up working with our drummer, uh, Johnny Rivas, and we were ready to hit the ground running. We had shows booked. We had the recordings going. We had demos going. And then we had booked over at the Concrete Jungle, in Ventura and we booked at Rock and Roll Pizza and that was March of 2020 and then things just the whole world closed up at that time you know yeah. COVID hits yeah. and so things are put in pause afterward about the end of 2021 things start reopening again we finish up the record the EP um, it's just momentum's been picking up since there put out a single music video playing shows constantly um, and then somewhere around I would say 22 23 we, you and I connected. Yes, yeah, some about music. It. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Johnny, it was Chris, Johnny, and um, Casey initially. Yeah. Um, Johnny couldn't make it out tonight. Um, Casey had to move to Arkansas. I met the band through an old band that I was in, um, How to Live with Robots. Um, it was kind of dis disorganized, but um, I ended up quitting the band and um, started with these guys. Yeah. Um, 22, 23, sometime I, around there, yeah. Yeah, I think, I love the robots, I think they play here. I think they are, are some of the guys that, that were in it or whatever, or was it? Was it? Yeah, I, I think that was after I quit. Um, yeah, that, that name sounds familiar. Andy yeah. and Dane? Yeah, I, I mean, I can't remember. There's so many bands that come through, you gotcha. know, it's like hard to remember everybody's name, you know, it's like yeah. five bands a night, I guess. but it's, uh, so, you know, you know, but you talk about COVID and how, you know, everything like shut down, but the flip side of the end of COVID, you know, there's a lot of good music that came out of COVID, you know, because right. people were kind of hibernating and they're getting just back into jamming, you know what I mean? And spending more mm -hmm. time making the good music and putting quality time into because they have shit else to do, you know what I mean? So, yeah. and, and a lot of a lot of good music, especially the music that we hear here now, you know, it's, it's it, I mean, it, and, and let alone the 805 is incredible. There's a lot of talent in 805, you know what I mean? It's just amazing yeah, how, sure. many, how many bands come through here and they're just fantastic, you know? Yeah. So is that kind of what you guys did, man? You just took your time building this record up during COVID, or? Yeah, we were built. We were working on the record, um, just demoing things out, and then we ended up uh, reaching out to Armand John Lizzie from Night Demon. He plays in that band. He runs a studio called the Captain's Quarters in Ventura. Okay. Went over there and recorded the record with him. He was awesome to work with because he's just he's got like the guitarist's mind, you know, as far as tone, and that's exactly what we were looking for because. We brought in the whole Marshall stacks and everything. We wanted like the really loud, overdriven sound, but to kind of balance it against some of the more like shoegaze aesthetics, a little more post-punk, kind of new wave influence. Yeah. The kind of the juxtaposition between those two. So he was the right guy to work with. And then uh, Nick uh, came on board because we had a gig that was at the Viper Room that we got an offer for, and uh, as he was, he was mentioning, Casey had just moved, and. Um, so I asked Nick, I said, hey, would you like to jump in for this gig? And that's initially what it was, it's just as a fill-in, but um, he just became a really strong contributor in his own right. Yeah. So now just the that's fans that's just that's Danny Carey became the drummer tool. He was fill-in, now he's one of the best drummers in the world. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but so, so, you know, I, I, you know, I want to ask you this question. So, you know, listening to you guys play the other night, you know, it's hard for me to, to, to you know, I don't want to say to the general public, like, what type of music it was because... You guys were kind of all over the board. It was so good. You know what I mean? You're hitting like the Nirvana cover, you know, and then some of your own original stuff. And it was, it was 
it was it was all over, but it was all good. You know what I mean? So if someone sure. were to say, "Hey, what type of music is you know is Stellar Ruins?" What would what would you say? Well, you know, I, it's hard for me to categorize it because I the music that I was raised on was never just limited to one style. Right. Like the very the very first record that I was ever given on a I had a double sided cassette because you could record from the boombox CD to the cassettes on both sides. And my uncle had made me a, a copy of Devo's Are We Not Men, We Are Devo on one side. And the other side was Devo's Freedom of Choice. And then I also received on, on a CD, because I had a, a, a Sony Walkman, I had a, the first Garbage album. So I would listen to, yeah. you know, after school, I would go home and listen to Only Happy When It Rains. And then have my Walkman cassette and listen to Devo. So it was like... You know, just the styles are just all varied. Yeah, my first, th first uh, flip one, you put a cassette in. I had uh, Oingo Boingo. Nice. They were the shit back then when I was trying to love them. But, but, uh, but to get back to your, to answer your question really is, um, we, don't, we don't try to limit ourselves to one style. We don't, um, there are elements of, of shoegaze in there because, you know, we're fans of, of like My Bloody Valentine, Sonic Youth, and uh, there's elements of post-punk because I'm, you know, hugely into The Cure. And I'm also like really into industrial music, so I listen to, like Skinny Puppy, um, and the early Nine Inch Nails stuff, and yeah. so it's just what whatever that you hear is just kind of a. I just got telling people it's badass. You know, yeah. So, you know, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so you know, um, you know, now because you know you guys played a couple of days ago, man. Really, I want to thank you for coming here and sharing your talents. You sure. know, it was uh, you know. It's, it's always a pleasure to see people come out and it's, you never know like what people got inside of them. You know what I mean? And I, I don't play an instrument, so, you know, I, I, I wish I could cause you see these people up there and they, they get their soul going through it. And you guys had that going, you know, and, uh, it was fun to watch, man. Um, uh, so, you know, people are going to be watching this and where can they go to find your music? You guys got a website, you got are you on different platforms. Where can they go and find, find your music? Yeah. So we've, our debut EP, um, uh, is called abandoned inhibition. That record is released on Spotify. Um, if anybody wants to support us directly, you know, to avoid the uh, the Spotify machine, so to speak, um, they can go to our Bandcamp, StellarRuins.BandCamp.com. Um, they can find us on, we're also on all the other streaming platforms, Apple Music, we're on YouTube Music, anywhere that you want to find your stuff, it's on there. Um, if you come to our show, we do have the actual physical product, and, and the benefit to that is that we put bonus tracks in there. We got some bonus nice. remixes on there, so... Kind of a little more incentive if you pick up a CD or a vinyl from us. Hell yeah. Is, uh, Hell yeah. You know, we're all about physical, tangible goods yeah. still, yeah. you know. Cool, man. So, well, before I let you guys go, man, uh, I like to ask this other artists and stuff like that. So, you know, because you get to know people a little bit better sort of from, you know, asking anyone ask this question. So, you know, Nick, I'll start with you. So, you know, what got you into to wanting to pick up an instrument, you know, play, play live music? You know, what, what inspired you, you know, you know the artist was it your mom was it you know a girlfriend just wanted to get laid what you know what was it <laughs> i'm not entirely sure to be honest um when i was a kid i remember <laughs> michael jackson um oh, michael the bad jackson. album yeah okay. i was all about that oh yeah and uh, so there's the greatest that, albums of all time <laughs> honestly it got me into punk a little bit <laughs> but um i don't know that's that's as early as I can remember. Funny, today I was listening to the Earth song by Michael Jackson. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, I, you know, I listen to all kinds of music all over the board, you know. And, yeah. But yeah, that's all. So, Chris, what about you, man? What, what got you into, into, you know, wanting to be basically badass, in, you know, in your own right in music? Well, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I feel very humbled by that. Because um, I always feel like we're always working on it, you know, trying to do our best. Um, for me, like, I, okay, my grandfather was a musician. He was uh, a mariachi musician. He played guitar, trumpet, and violin, organ. Um, so he had uh, and it's one of the uh, classical acoustics lying around the house. And when I first got into music, um, the guitar music that really did it for me, that really, like, just, it blew my mind when I first heard it, was Smashing Pumpkins' Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness album. Yeah. I heard that album, and I was like, wow, like, all the different styles, again, styles that are just not limited by any genre, because there's so many varying styles on that, on that record. I, I remember going to Guitar Center in high school. I remember just walking to school. I walk, Walking after school to Guitar Center and picking up the tab book and just like sitting in the Guitar Center and just like learning all those songs. And what was really cool was that 
this particular tab book, and you don't really see this, is that they had the core diagrams inside the book. Like, it wasn't just tablature, but it had open core diagrams. So I'm sitting there learning the chord shapes to all these Smashing Pumpkin songs, and that's really what did it for me, because it was like, wow, it's, it's loud and heavy, but there's still that really strong, like, emotional aspect to the music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just, like, really heavy in depth as far as thematically, what people go through as far as their experiences experiences in life and traumas and whatnot yeah and that's really resonated with me and still continues to do so so it's like that's really what did it for me back yeah then. that's what yeah. that's the same same that familiar that drew me to tool and then you're back in that 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 time you know with rage and tool sound garden all that i mean that just the nirvana that changed everything for me you know what i mean because i was mm -hmm. always waiting for something like that you know you had the hair bands and you know you had a little bit but that back then was hard to find you know you know, punk music or anything, you know, because, you know, you, you found what you found at the, at the record store. You know, you were yeah. young, you weren't going to shows, you know, you were little, and, but, you know, now it's opened up to everything, you know, so, so it's great because, like, my son, he, you know, he, he comes to me with music I've never even heard of, you know, and it's just awesome, but we couldn't find out when we were young, you know what I mean? It would have to be in the, in the store by you, you know. Yeah, so. it's nice having internet, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, hey, man, uh, thank you guys so much for coming in here tonight, and uh, I look forward to having you guys come back and play. I appreciate yeah, it. It was man. awesome. Yeah, appreciate you're it. welcome. So, Thanks for having us, guys. Hey, oh, go check out Stellar Ruins. Go find out, uh, check out their platforms. Find, go see them live. They were incredible here the other night. They killed it. And uh, when they do come back, guys, come see them here. All right. Have a good night. Thank you very much.